All right, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow moose, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're healthy and safe. We're back and we are starting our very own first Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. This one is not going to have any randomizer in it like the Emerald randomizer Nuzlocke that I did. I enjoyed that one a lot, but I pretty much used that one as practice so that way I know better what to do when I start this Nuzlocke. I'm excited about it. Let's get straight into it and pick our first Pokemon. The only Pokemon that we can pick. <laughs> now, pretty much, you know, based on the gyms that we're gonna be facing early on, it kind of goes down to, for me, Torchic and Mudkip. But honestly, I think Mudkip would be better. And some people agree that Mudkip is the best one to pick, if it's especially like your first official Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Um, but I think some other time I'll pick Torchic. Because I pretty much have an advantage already if I pick Mudkip, right? First gym is Rock. And then, of course, the gym that I'm most afraid of for a Nuzlocke. The first one is Watson. So the fact that I already have a ground type is also going to be pretty good for that gym. So I think I'm going to pick Mudkip. And I love Mudkip. Mudkip is my, is my favorite starter in this. But I also love Torchic so much. So hopefully it goes well, and I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. This is my first official Nuzlocke for Pokemon Ruby. And then after this one, I'm gonna either do Fire Red or Heart Gold. We'll see. It all depends how it goes. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about it. And I know exactly what name I'm going to give my Mudkip. It's kind of a funny, cute name that my brother came up with when he decided to start naming his Pokemon. So I'm gonna call this Mudkip Skippy. <laughs> I don't know why, it's, just, it's a cute name. I just, I'll call him Skippy. It's adorable, okay? Don't judge me. So Skippy is our first Pokemon, and I'm pretty excited to get into it. And right now, um, I think I'm probably going to switch off the battle scene. Um, most likely. Let me see, just, you know, for fun. Let me see what nature I end up getting. Naughty! That's why my attack damage was that high. I mean... Naughty... I think Naughty increases attack and decreases speed. But it doesn't touch special attack, which means our attack is going to be very strong and special attack is also going to be pretty decent. So that's actually not a bad nature. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> now, I think I will to make sure everything does go by faster when it comes to farming. I think I will switch the battle scene off. It's just, you know, to make sure everything goes by much faster when you get to that farming point, right? So, yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm probably going to get Mudkip to level 7 or 8. And with the battle scene off, it's going to pretty much help get everything, you know, better. There you go, see? Everything goes by faster. So it works out. Look at this nature, like, this damage is pretty damn good. Because that way, you know, we can immediately go back to catching Pokemon and all that stuff. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm pretty much debating if I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last time. Where I just pretty much did episodes based on the video edits of all the important battles only and the important stuff only. Um, or I'm just gonna completely do, like, an actual full playthrough. I don't know yet. But I'm debating. But since this is the first episode of the playthrough, I'm pretty much using this to think. Um, so I think I will just keep everything in, in this episode the way it is. And it should be good. And then after that, we'll see how it goes. If I'm gonna just do... A compilation of edits like I did with the Emerald Randomizer or not. But yes, I'm pretty excited. I'm excited. I, the first PC game I've ever played um, of Pokemon was Pokemon Ruby. 
I, back when it first came out, I love it. And then I had Pokemon Emerald on the, on the actual Game Boy Advance. And then my brother and I had like, I had Ruby, he had Sapphire. And pretty much with every Pokemon game, we've always had one or the other. Like I have Pokemon Gold, Heart Gold, he played Silver, Soul Silver. I love Pearl, he loves Diamond. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. Now, based on all the Pokemon that I can catch in this route alone, when it gets to that point, if I get a zig if I get a worm pull, oh god, that was a critical hit. I actually need to pay attention here. Uh, I can I can kill it with this. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that critical hit took me off guard. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to heal. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I'm thinking if I get a worm pull, I don't mind. Because a Wurmple can either give me a Dustox, which would have confusion, psychic type moves, right? And it can use Fly later on. If it turns into Beautifly, I'll have more of a Grass type variety of moves. Which isn't that bad, but I kind of prefer Dustox a little bit. If I get Puchiana, that's also not bad. I, I honestly, there's so many good optional Pokemon that you can catch in the areas of this game. So it's you you can't really be mad with any of them, honestly. But it would be the first time that I would have a Wormpole, so that's something. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go to eight so I can be completely safe. But I think I can fight Brendan already because I have the naughty nature, so my tackle will hurt. Oh my god, Skippy missed. <laughs> Skippy, I can't believe you missed. This is unbelievable. But yeah, this does make the battle go much faster. Because, you know, you don't have to take a look at the animation. So it makes everything pretty decently fast. But yeah, I do need to be careful while farming Joe just to make sure... The other thing is, I don't want to go all the way to level 10 unless I finish catching the Pokemon I need to catch right now, in this area at least. Because that way, with my strong tackle, I'll risk accidentally killing them. And I don't want that. Alright, we're gonna go heal again. But yeah, it's pretty fun. Like, I, I really... I, I knew I was going to enjoy trying the Nuzlocke for the first time. Because it's fun. It's a new way of playing Pokemon, you know. A game that I love playing so much. And it's, it's enjoyable. It makes it interesting. It makes it scary, you know. Like, it's intense. I love that. It's so good. Now, in the meantime, I need to think of names, so I can get the names, you know, right off the bat. Like, if I get a Poochiana, I'm gonna call it Poochie, because it's fucking cute, okay? Don't judge me. If I get a Zigzagoon, I'll probably call it Ziggs, or Ziggy, or Zigzag. I'll call him Zigzag. <laughs> we'll see. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If I get a Wormpole... Hmm... What do I call the Wormpole? I mean, Wormy doesn't sound bad. Kinda sounds cute. Alright, we're going to heal. And we're gonna go battle Brandon. Now, as for flying types, if I end up getting a Wingle... I'll take it, you know, I'll use it just because flying, right? But it would be preferred if I, if in that route I catch a Puchiana and then I get a Talo, you know, um, next to Old Ale Town. You know what would be a funny thing, like actual clutch luck? If I were to catch, somehow, when I get to that route, if I were to find freaking Ralts as my my Pokemon to catch, right? 
but I don't think it's gonna work that way because that the area the, the patch of grass where you find Ralts already belongs to the first route that you walk into and unless I end up evading a Pokemon encounter I don't think I'll be that lucky to actually get a Ralt. So I think I don't think I'm gonna get a Ralt here. It's probably gonna be a C dot, which is not a bad Pokemon. I never actually had a Shift Tree. I think I no, I, I don't think I've ever had a Shift Tree. All right, show me the tackle, baby. Oh yeah, we're good. I could probably, like, skip the animation when I'm farming, but then when we're in actual battle, I could, like, keep the battle, the battle scene going. Woohoo! Let's get some Pokeballs! I'm excited. It would be cool to get a C dot. Now, since this is not Sapphire and I have Mudkip, I don't need to get Lotad. But if I did, I would use it just for the grass features. Excuse me, lady. <laughs> Alright. Now we're going to keep Skippy. Now, this time, also, since I used the first Nuzlocke as, an, as you know... A learning experience this time I you know know exactly the level cap so I'm gonna make sure that I'm always equal level to the strongest Pokemon of each gym leader so in this case for no pass it's 15 so I'm gonna make sure I do not pass 15 I want to stick to the equal level thing because that's where you know you make it more fun and more challenging I pulled it off successfully for the most part in an Emerald Nuzlocke, you know? But I literally forgot that Winona in Emerald, she's level 33 with the Ace. So I was like level 36. But then I made up for it. Alright, so now we got the running shoes. And now... We got the Pokeballs. I kind of want to buy more. And now I gotta make sure that I don't accidentally kill anybody. And I'm always gonna keep saving my profile, because you never know. Alright, here we go. What am I getting? Ah! I expected a worm pole. Alright, cool. I hope it becomes a dust tox, I really do. Okay, first things first. I gotta make sure I don't kill it. So I'm gonna use Mud Slap. Yeah, that, 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 that works. It's gonna keep missing, so Skippy's not gonna get damaged. I should be fine as long as I don't get a crit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try... one more, and then we're good. There we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. We should have this. First try, it has to be done. Oh yeah, I forgot, it doesn't make a sound effect when you catch it. They added that in Pokemon Emerald. I kept staring at the ball like, oh no, it's gonna come out. <laughs> I actually forgot about that, oh my god. We got Wormpole. I still really like Wormy, I do, even though it's gonna become a butterfly. I like Wormy, it's adorable. It's fucking cute, okay? Alright, let's go immediately catch the next Pokemon. I wanna grab the first three in these areas. And based on the options, train them all. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me restock on Pokeballs, just in case they decide to play a little hard to get. So from the area at the 
top, I would like a Poochiana. Yeah, five more Pokeballs should be enough. A couple of potions. Pretty much what I did last time. Oh yeah, what nature did I get? Just for fun. Hasty. Shield dust prevents added effects. Interesting. If I remember correctly, hasty is one of those natures that doesn't prioritize anything. So it's all balanced, like everything grows together. Nothing gets increased or decreased so that it increases something. So that's actually not bad for a Pokemon like this. I'd prefer it, honestly. Poochiana. 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 <laughs> Yay! I can call it Poochie. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I think only once in my entire playthrough I actually had a Poochiana. Because after the first time I've ever played this game, I never had a Poochiana again. I, I had a C dot. Let's hope I don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Oh, thank you. Ooh, that's scary. Skippy, you're very terrifying at level 8. I hope you know that. Alright, this should be good. Now I remember the Pokeball is not gonna make a turn the third time. Yay! Successful. Poochie! The Bite Pokemon. What if I call it Crunch? Crunchy. No, Crunch. I kind of like Poochie, though. I'm kind of keeping the nicknames close to their actual names this time around. Poochie or Crunch. Or I can just call it Bite. It's the Bite Pokemon, right? I could call it Bite. Oh, wait, what is this? I, see my reflexes? I went immediately to the Y. Bite. Bite or Poochie? I'll call him Bite. It's it, it's described as the Bite Pokemon. Why would I not? Alright, so immediately in the next route as well. We're gonna try to see if we can get a... Wait. Well, actually, now that I think about it... If I do get C Dot... If I get C dot, I already have the, a dark type Pokemon, so I might get rid of Poochiana. C dot is pretty good. I mean, it's another advantage against rock types and an advantage against water types. See, yeah, th there's there, it's either this or a Wurmple you get, and most of the time you have a high chance of getting this. I'm gonna keep mud slapping. It's the safest thing I can use. Oh wait, I do have to. Harden. Okay, I can use Tackle then. I have to be careful if it starts using Bide. Oh, Jesus. It started. I gotta catch it now. I have one more turn. I have to catch it right now. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that Bide is very scary early game. I don't even trust it. Corny. <laughs> it's an acorn Pokemon. I don't know. I'll call it Corny. Alright. So this Pokemon, when it evolves, and it evolves like around level 14 or something, if I remember correctly, it'll become, you know, I think, I don't know, am I gonna keep Poochie? I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep Bite. I might keep Bite just to keep it around. Raises speed and sunshine. Hardy. This is another Hardy. This is another mission. Uh, what mission? 
It's another nature that doesn't prioritize anything. So the stats go together just like Wormpole. Alright. The next route, the next Pokemon. Let's try not to kill it. I'm betting it's a Talo. 100% Talo. Okay, it's a Zigzagoon. Am I gonna use this Zigzagoon or put it in the box? Depends on if this kills it. Okay, we're gonna catch it. I don't know yet. I, I don't see my... I mean, I don't know. There are times when I had a normal Pokemon in my party. It was a Wismer. I love Wismer so much. It's so fucking cute. And I love Exploud. Oh my goodness, the first Pokemon that actually got out. You get back in the ball. So I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna use a Zigzagoon or not. I I don't know. It depends, I would say. I, I would say it depends. For now, I don't have a need for it. I almost pressed B to not give it a nickname. It's such a habit. Uh, I'll call it. What did I say I was gonna call it? Zigzag. Ziggy. I'll call it Zazzy. Big Bang Theory reference, everybody. That episode where Sheldon has a bunch of cats and he calls a cat Zazzles because it's Zazzy. I'm gonna call it Zazzy. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, Linoon is not bad, but relaxed. Pick up. May pick up items. I don't know. I might use I might use Zazzy to get the Pokemon low. Okay, next area. Last time in the Emerald, I caught a Pokemon here. I'll catch one here now. What do we got? Shroomish? Yep. Going in the box, in case C dot dies, I'll have a Breloom, which is also not a Oh, I right. Oh, I didn't think of that. Grass dark or grass fighting. I was talking about how I needed to get lucky to see if I could get a Makuhita. For the fifth gym. If I get a Shroomish and replace it with C Dot, I will still have a grass type, but it's grass fighting. I can take care of slacking. This okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to I am I'm gonna I didn't think about this. I'm gonna have to pass on um okay, I gotta make sure I don't kill it. First and foremost, I'm gonna tackle. This is right, I cause I gotta do what I can to make sure that I can beat this run without losing, right? So my best shot is not going with Shift Tree, my best shot is going with Breloom because that's lacking. And also I've never had a Breloom before, grass fighting type. Doesn't seem that bad. I actually kind of like it. Let's go, yeah! I'm gonna have to replace C Dot. I have to. I gotta let it farm, but it's okay. It's just five levels, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna call you... What do I call you? It's a shroom. It's a mushroom Pokemon. I'm gonna call you Shroomy. Or do I call it... Yeah, I'll call it Shroomy. It's simple and adorable. That's what we're going for. Shroomy, you are going to ha- you are going to ha- uh, Can I English? I'm thinking of too many things at once. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is actually better for me. The, I gotta go with my best chances of winning and beating every gym successfully, right? And I get a fighting type for the Elite Four against Sydney, which is also great, 
because that's another element that I'm taking care of. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to get rid of C Dot. C Dot, you're gonna go in the box, buddy. It is the best thing I can do right now. Bye, Corny. You're gonna keep Bite company. Uh, Zazzy is gonna go as well. Actually, for now. Uh, I'll keep Zazzy just to lower the next Pokemon that I'm gonna catch in the next two routes. Uh, cause there's more Pokemon catching that needs to be done right now. Alrighty, people. It's gym time. I got Shroomy up first because Shroomy is next in line to become level 15 and as I said, I'm not gonna pass 15 before fighting this gym. So Skippy is at 15, Wormy 14. I'm, I'm keeping Zazzy around because it's grabbing random items, which is hilarious. I, I picked up an Ultra Ball from him, from her, and also a full restore, so I'm keeping Zazzy around just because it picks up random items. Um, but yeah, we're gonna... Let Shroomy level up to 15 and then we're gonna see what happens. Shroomy seems to be the safest bet here against her, especially Nose Pass, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna do what we can right now to beat her, but we should be good. This party, the way it is right now, we're covering a lot of area and it's pretty good. Alright, 14, one absorb should take it down. From what I've seen against the level 11 Geodudes. But you know, it is level 14. Oh boy, that's early. Oh. Alright, we baited the potion. That's actually pretty good. Hopefully we can use two absorbs. Shroomy should be fine, back to full health. Very good. And now we can do another one. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. I want to I do not want nose pass getting those potions. So it's best to just bait them early. This was perfect. Full health. Trumi is the safest bet honestly for this for this fight. <laughs> now she's got nothing else to do. We got this. We got this. Right now I think Trumi is going to become level 15. Beautiful. Shroomy, I'm gonna let you take on... I mean, I gotta be committed to this. Shroomy has already had her speed lowered. She already had her speed lowered. Do I water gun this? Which one of them has the highest... Because Absorb does 20 damage, she has 19 special attack. Absorb does 20 damage. Water Gun does 40. And Skippy has 21 special attack. 30 attack, look at that shit. That's gonna be nasty later. I think it's safe for me. I think it's safer. I mean, because here's the thing. No. Nose Pass is still slower than Shroomy. If I use... It, whatever happens, if I use Absorb, I get health back. That's my safe bet right now. Shroomy, you're gonna take on Nose Pass. Yeah, harden up all you want. I'm using special attacks here. I don't care. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Water gun was the best bet. But I'm sticking to this. I'm committed. I could also leech seed. Uh, I'm committed. Nice! Thank you for making contact with Shroomy. Wonderful. Paralysis. I move first. I'm gonna keep healing in the process. If he tackles again, I can switch. I can switch, though. Yeah, I get to attack first. If I get a crit, that would be wonderful. This nose pass is scary. 
paralyzed. Wonderful. Let's go, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. Jesus Christ. I wish Absorb did more damage, but yeah. Oh god. Please. Okay, that's good. My speed goes down, but that did not hurt that much. I can heal it. I can heal it up, it's fine. Give me that crit, baby. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Nice. Shroomy can tank this damage for sure. We got this. Yeah, Shroomy was the safest bet, honestly. I'm, I, I'm fine with the paralysis helping me out with the absorb, because absorb only does 20 damage. That's the thing. Water gun does 40. But this was the safest thing, because with each attack, she can heal. Best thing against Nosepads. I will take it. I'll take it. That was pretty fucking good. So right now, we got the first badge. We survived round one of the gym leader battles. I think um, Shroomy also already... Uh, unfortunately, Shroomy cannot learn Cut. That's why I have Zazzle. Um, I think Mudkip can learn Rock Tomb, which is nice, because Mudkip already has 30 fucking attack damage because of the naughty nature, which is hilarious. Let's fucking go, Mudkip. Let's go. <laughs> I think Rock Tomb is... Rock Tomb is physical, I think. I can always double check this. Rock Tomb does 50. I'll get rid of Bide because I'm not I barely am gonna use this. So we got protection and the weapon against the flying types. Which is pretty damn good. Yo. Shroomy! <laughs> Shroomy man. I'm gonna call you armor. It sounds cool to me, I don't know why, but it's fitting because it's an armor Pokemon and it's super tanky. Alright, everyone is level 18. Let's do this. And I decided to keep Aaron or armor because later on for the Elite Four, I am going to actually need Agron on my party. If I have it, might as well take it. So here we go. We're gonna... Oh yeah, I for... Oh god, I forgot to put the animation back on. We're gonna just... I... I yeah, it, it's just... Yeah, I, I can't. We'll just, we'll just... We'll just pretend we can see the animation. <laughs> I was farming, so I took off the animation of the battle scene. Judge me. Let's go, baby. I got all the speed. Freaking 38 speed, baby. Let's go. We got this. He's probably gonna use potion right now. I'm gonna stick with confusion. This is an easy gym right now because we have a Pokemon that can use both Gust and confusion which is awesome let's fucking go <laughs> all right this was fast to slate port we go all righty the battle with brendan is going to start right now quick little recap armor is level 19 Shroomy, Skippy, and Wormy are all level 20. Recap on the stats here. Pretty decent attack and defense as usual. And we also got Miracle Seed on Shroomy as well. It's It's got pretty good defense. Like, honestly, this is what helped it against Nosepass, I think. 31 special defense, 30 defense. Its attack and special attack are not that low either. They're, they're doing pretty good. And then over here we have the big boss, Skippy, with good damage. Good all overall, pretty much, with the naughty nature, surprisingly. And we also have Soft Sand, which means Mudshot is going to hurt way more than it already does. Epicness. Just epicness. So we're ready for the second battle. Let's freaking do this. And now we're gonna be making our way to the third gym. The gym that scares me a lot. 
But we're gonna be okay because we got tankiness and we got mud shot. Alright, 18. Yeah, we're pretty close. Um, well, we got fire. Um, I could actually just use headbutt. See what happens. Or I could just mud slap. I think I can just headbutt because the headbutt does pretty good damage. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch out for that one. But yeah, if, as long as he doesn't crit, I should be fine. Oh god, I'm burned. Kill him. Oh god, of course, when I'm burned, the damage gets lower. Um, I got full heal. I also got super potion. Since he's spamming Amber, I think I should do the safe approach, honestly. And go for Skippy. That way I can get some time to freaking heal armor. Yeah, that doesn't do anything to me. I'm gonna heal armor and then use full heal. It should stall because it's still gonna keep using Ember for some reason. I've been picking up a lot of good items because of Zazzy. Zazzy every once in a while can randomly pick up items. And it's been picking up like nuggets and, you know, PP ups and all that stuff. Oh, really? How about we take care of this Pokemon? I think he also has a Shroomish. I don't know, wait, I don't think he does. Grovile's coming out right now, though. Um. I can switch. This is where it's gonna get tricky because I have my grass type moves. I have a bug poison, so technically Grovile is completely unaffected. Unaffective against Wormy. And Wormy has the gust. So we're gonna have to go with this. Bug Poison, so Grass automatically has a disadvantage. And we're equal in levels, my goodness. Also, I got Moonlight. Alright, Wormy, you're gonna be okay. That's a nice gust. Don't crit, you're gonna be okay. He's gonna probably heal, he has to. Oh god, that was a crit. Okay, we're okay. Grovile is dead. We are okay. We're good. That was scary because I don't have a fire type. Wilmer. Shroomy can take care of this. We got Mega Drain now, so we do extra damage. You enjoy splashing about, don't worry. Beautiful! You keep splashing, it's alright. But yeah, it, it would be nice if I get a fire type for my party. But, wow, you're still alive? Jesus. But the thing is... I could just grab Fire Blast near the end in Lily Cove and teach it to any one of my Pokemon that can learn it. But I think I should get a Fire-type though, because that way it's easier against, you know, the Elite Four Glacia, right? We did it! It was intense there for a second because of the Grovile, but aside from that, we got Gust. So as long as we got the Flying-type move, we're fine. And this Pokemon is not affected by, gra by Grass-type moves because it's a bug. And Poison! So, yeah, that was actually pretty damn good. And right now we're gonna heal, because we're gonna battle these other trainers here in the next part. And next part is going to be, you know, getting to Watson. Watson scares me. He, he, really, he really scares me.